Hi everyone, what's going on? It's Natalie here uh, with another message for you guys today. Hope everyone is doing well. So we're gonna tap in and see what spirit needs us to know for this reading, okay? Keep in mind that energies can be reversed, time is fluid. If it's not your reading, don't try to make the reading fit, all right? Just let it flow or go, I don't know. All right, so let's see what's going on with the collective. In the highest vibration that is, Holy Spirit and Angels, this is the message from the collective. Oh, okay, so we have darkest fears here with joy and stability. So either this is an insecurity of yourself, okay? I'm trying to read this in the highest vibration possible, but I already know what it's saying here. But you could be anxious of being successful or stable, or you feel like even though you are stable, you feel like you should fear something or someone is projecting this to you, of course, because that sounds absurd, right? Who would, why would someone fear being stable and being happy stable? So this must be someone else projecting onto you. They fear you being this way. This person does not want you to be happy. Oh, and free. Okay, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. It looks like you have a power that this person might not have. They don't have the power or free will to create their own happiness. So they're in fear of you doing it. Something about you being free is very significant. Aquarius energy, rebellious. So it's giving like a rebellious, but not really. You're just, you just wanna be free. And how is it rebellious? Cause you want joy and stability. Wouldn't it be rebellious to not want stability? to go against what you really want. So there's something here about society views or something. Okay, so we have acceptance. There's also an energy of you accepting yourself and someone fears this. Someone fears, someone here fears how you, you're you accepting something. You're accepting the way something is. I'm learning to accept the things that I cannot change. This person can, or this person needs to accept that they cannot change this. Who is this person? Or what is this energy here? Because sometimes it's not really a person. It's a entity. We have grief here. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. We also have guilt. Someone's initials could be G, first or last. We have heal, dreams coming true. This is really giving me vibes of like someone trying to hold someone back. Someone doesn't want someone to be... Uh, a rebel or they don't want someone to be free that you're not hurting anybody there's like nothing wrong with you being stable or free or being able to provide for yourself or just having being happy with what you have it's stable so you're happy and this person doesn't like that so some sort of chain broke off of you or the chains broke off of you once you became stable or semi-stable but happy with what where you're at right now in life so this person is afraid of you being happy where you're at in life even if you're you might not be all that successful but you have stability that's a blessing and this person doesn't like that you're accepting that fact weird this person might not be able to uh be that true offering is here one to come in the reverse takes what can be an unbearable cross and returns it to love yet yeah, someone has a lot of hate in their heart it's like they cannot well i don't know maybe this person is trying to work through it but it's also giving me like they are not trying to hear the fact they're not trying to hear that this is a good thing it's like setting you free someone has to set you free they don't want to set you free in the spirit they're gonna have to though clarify joy and stability also i'm getting like you're letting things go once you let things go you automatically become free because what are they controlling now so if someone was trying to control you clarify joy and stability yeah deepening once you're on earth for enough lifetimes your old soul will begin to long for non-grasping detachment and surrender they bring the peace of god so you have an old soul that's like been through the most so you're able to accept not the bare minimum, but you just, you've been through a lot. So you know to be grateful or something here like that going on. Like you've been through a lot and you always know it could be worse. 
you always know it could be worse and you're so grateful you're not on the other side or you're so grateful that you have um an old soul because you're not like other people you don't hold on to things like most people do i guess so tell me about freedom i know what it's about yeah energetic clearing mm, this was like crucial this was like a life or death type of situation I possess the power in the world to create my own happiness. It's like you have a certain power that's kind of scary. Kali Ma is like, she's a goddess of destruction. So it's like, you're wiping away all evil though when you're free, but this is like a life or death situation. Like you had to become free before it took you out. You had to save yourself. Someone didn't want you to save yourself. Like, what is this? Acceptance is here. This is also someone that wants you to stay in the same neighborhood. Outrageous op openness. No, I feel like you guys are going to be expanding. Open me to your will. Release me from my attachment. Surprise and delight me with your plan. You know what's needed and I'm ready to receive. You know that wherever you go, wherever the universe puts you or wherever God puts you, you know it's for your own good. Because they would never put you in a place where you were unsafe. Okay? Yeah, everything comes from the divine source. Something about the divine or God's going to be expanding something for you. Uh, okay, the planet Jupiter is very significant. Something here is going to be expanding. You're going to have a lot of room for something. And I'm also hearing a big social life. Something about a social life is very important. I don't know why. Maybe you never really had a social life. Well, well something here is expanding. And this all happened when you became free. Or this will happen if you become free. Clarify grief. So it looks like someone is like in a whole lot of, yeah, someone sees that you're grounded or something or like someone needs to be humble or they see that you're humble. So this is why they're in grief. They feel like they lost someone that was humble. I don't know. This might not even be about a relationship, but this person sees that you have overcame a, multiple lifetimes is what I've heard multiple lifetimes this is not something that went over a year or six months ago this is lifetimes you've been going through this someone is like recognizing your worth but this is their fear it's like their fear is letting you go it's supposed to be like a father figure maybe um not really trusting their child's beliefs doesn't want to let them go to if that resonates in any way but I feel like you guys let God do its thing. Yeah, know you are loved. Divine source. All my deepest needs will be met. Let me trust that you have a plan and the right actions will come. You are my source for all. So there's something here about you just trust that God got it. Okay. It's not that big of a deal. But these people are making it a big of a deal. Something about your inner child is very important because it keeps coming out. Something about your inner trauma. Clarify guilt. Someone, someone is also very guilty of something. They will never admit this though. Awakening. Wake me from life as a spiritual sheep. May I hear you through my own instincts and common sense. I feel like someone is awakening to exactly what's going on right now, but they're in fear. I keep getting this energy of fear lately. I don't know who's scared. I hope you guys aren't afraid of anything, but... Release control is in the reverse. Someone doesn't want to let go. Someone wants something to be in a low vibration, not peaceful. They don't want you pushing through your insecurities. And they don't want you to be open to change. They also don't want you in the energy of forgiving them. Or they're treating you like, oh, they don't forgive us because they're never coming back. Like you could forgive them, but that don't mean you have to be stuck over there you know so i don't know there's a lot of projections going on let's see what the tarot says people just like to play in guys energy okay so we have the queen of pentacles here with judgment there's a judgment on a queen, a queen of pentacles something about stability is very important i don't know why people are angry about this. This could be a man, a fire sign. 
King of Wands in the reverse. What's the energy? Yeah, you're getting spied on. I'm also getting like, someone is like very immature because you're moving away. They have like no proof of something also. Someone is spying, but they're not getting any proof on nothing. That's what I'm seeing here. They're stuck, they're abandoned, they're out in the cold. They can't move forward, they can't walk away. They're holding on to something. I'm picking up Taurus energy too, or this fire sign. Mm. Someone, I'm here like, there's some sort of control out here that someone wants you to be under. I feel like it's two people. It must be two people, but they're very immature together. It's like they do a lot of uh, not so smart things together. I'm hearing tag team. They want a tag team is what I'm hearing. But with the page of swords reverse, page of pentacles reverse, there's one person that lies and runs their mouth and the other person is very... Um, they don't have nothing to show for. Talk is cheap with them too. So it's like, what's going on here? Yeah, the Ace of Cups is here. This is either a newfound love within yourself, an upgrade of a gifts or pregnancy or something new is happening for you. Maybe you're heading into another connection. Five of Swords in the reverse. I don't know why someone tried to put you under some sort of mind control. The sun is here. You awaken to that and you're very positive that you can overcome little petty stuff like this because I feel like people are playing really petty games and you're too grown for it or it's really like not affecting you at all. Ace of Swords is the outcome. So you know the truth about something, something is clear to you. This is an ex, lovers in the reverse that you cannot cooperate with, they don't want to cooperate, they don't work well together or someone here wanted you to be in a third party okay they wanted you stuck not seeing your confidence this person always feared you seeing your confidence could be a female here too always feared you seeing your confidence or okay yeah who's this king of wands reverse is this First of all, they're abusive. They're angry all the time. They don't know how to sit down. They don't know how to rest. There's something here about this person that's like off to me. Knight of Swords is here. There's also something that you're saying. They want you to like stop saying it. Page of Cups. But what are you saying? Also, if you're someone's child, they don't like when you speak. I'm hearing like something. This is about a parent too. If you're someone's child, they don't like when you tell the truth. Or they don't like when you talk about those things. And you know what I'm talking about. It's like they they want, they want rush to make you shut up. Why the uh, Eight of Cups in reverse? It's like they're always rushing to make you shut up, but you're like coming out very innocent. Yeah, Ten of Swords in the reverse. It's like it's the truth. Like why? How would I even know that anyway? Like you ever, you, has a kid ever said something to you and you're like, how do they even know that? They probably had a dream about it or something. Some kids are prophetic is also what I'm hearing. You guys could have prophetic kids. They just speak and it happens, okay? Or you're like this when you were a kid. We have the Empress in reverse with the Ten of Swords in reverse here. Yeah, there's some mother figure here that can't uh, end something for you. She also can't walk away. I feel like this is giving me vibes of that reading I did where it says that you're their only plan. <laughs> you were their only plan or something here was their only plan. Uh, seven of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, this person doesn't have any plans. This person can't live in La La Land anymore. The only thing that matters is the truth and what's hidden coming out somebody out here knows exactly what's going on at all times it must be you you must know what's going on at all times and you're not even trying to know what goes on you're just in the sun energy ace of wands ace of swords and someone here is they don't like that you know something tell me about the ace of cups this looks like something new here for you guys knight of pentacles an offer coming in something stable um 
Knight of Pentacles kind of gives me vibes of the mailman too. We got the Seven of Swords. Be careful people going through your mail. Seven of Swords. Three of Cups. And then turning around wanting to celebrate with you because you have this Ace of Cups here. Yeah, so just watch someone's like demeanor and like watch how they're acting. Like it's a family maybe. Clarify the Five of Swords in the reverse. Two of Pentacles in the reverse, Nine of Wands. Someone looks silly here. Like someone looks kind of silly. Based off of a choice that you're making or like you're innocently not paying any sort of attention. Like you do things accidentally on purpose in a little bit, in like a, in a little way. Something about the innocence of you. Like you did that accidentally on purpose. Sometimes you do things accidentally on purpose. Like you didn't mean to do it, but it, it was for a reason. Like, I don't know, like you don't, you didn't know that you were doing it. Like something about your intuition is on point here. Okay, so we have all this happy energy. Why the sun with the ace of wands and the ace of swords? There's a new truth out here. Yeah, and you know it. There's a big upgrade in your gifts too, I keep getting. It's like you, it's on point. There's confirmation here. It's like, this is like a test for you too, to know if, you know, this is like a test for your, your skills. So these people are basically being used as a test for you. And you pass the test or there's something here about like things that you know, yeah? Cause you see things in different perspective. You kind of, you know how to look at the dark sides of everything like, you know the light side of the justice system and then you know the dark side of the justice system. You know the light part about schools and the school system, then you know the dark side. You know the positive side of music, then you know the dark side of music. It's like you are very like as above so below type of energy. You know that if there's a God, there has to be a devil. You know that if there's a moon, there has to be a sun. You know, if there's hot things, there has to be cold things too. You know, if there, you know what I mean? Like, you know, everything has an opposite. It's like, you know, if there's a light, there has to be a dark. Or maybe you believed in a, in a reverse way. Maybe you were, you were taught all the dark things and it made you believe in God after. It's like, You have to know both sides. There's something here about like you knowing both sides of something. So you're not ignorant to the devil's devices like these fools are. You're able to see things in a very balanced way. It's like, you know, you know, the deep, dark secrets of like, you know, a lot of conspiracy theories and stuff like that. You know about the tunnels that are underground, you know, all kinds of stuff. You know that if there's things on the surface, there has to be things underneath it. That's what I'm getting at. Clarify the Ace of Swords here, because you you just know better. It's like someone leaves breadcrumbs. They they're not good at uh, cleaning up their mess either after they do stuff. So you just get confirmation after confirmation after confirmation. Hierophant in the reverse, two of cups in the reverse. There's going to be a divorce or something or like someone is newly single or they're just free. Like I got in the beginning. This is what someone fears. They're in a lot of regret because there's something here about their... It's like they can't even get up. It's like they fall and they can't get up type of energy. But there's like a weight on them. It's like they are they come with a lot of people. King of Pentacles in the reverse, King of Cups in the reverse. It's like this person comes with a lot. So I don't know if this is a love situation, but I don't think you want anything to do with this because what they come with. This is what they come with, this petty stuff. This is exactly what this comes with. I think I want to pull some advice. We have let it go and protect. You're being asked to let go of whatever pain and resentment you've been holding on to. It's hurting you and you can't fully be present in your life if you're holding on to this negativity. Release it and let it be free. Yeah, so it's like you let all the situ you let the situation go and you put up your boundaries. It's like you're no longer in the energy of playing with people right now. And these people want to play. 
You're being asked to protect yourself and your energy. It's okay to want to give to others, which you do effortlessly. It's important, though, that you set healthy boundaries with your energy before doing so. Now is the time to get some protection in place. And I'm hearing something about salt. Salt for protection. Indian black salt for your front and back doors. Maybe even in your garden, too. We have miracles. You're being asked to pay extra close attention to all the big and small miracles that have already occurred in your life and also to those that are currently occurring and still to come. Miracles surround you. Be on the lookout for them. Someone is on the lookout for your miracles. Someone knows that you're getting miracles and this is what they're on the lookout for. Wait, why am I reading this? <laughs> Bravery. Hmm. You've been putting off a decision because of fear which is understandable but you do have the strength and bravery to make this decision and you'll feel so much lighter what you do some of you guys are relocating yeah grounding in reverse it's like you're uprooting or you're going somewhere it's like a tree that can move type of energy i don't know like you're definitely free though we have give here check in Someone may want to work with you, but we'll see if, if, if it's actually worth it or not. Presence, pause, listen. And align. Yeah, so there's something here about being present still, though. Something about listening to your inner voice to align accordingly. It's kind of like, you know, you got your own... Alexa in your head telling you when to turn left or right that type of energy It's like not really like you don't even know exactly What next step is here something here is gonna be a surprise for you, but you can't miss it You have to be present for your you have to be present for it You have to be present for the miracles something about the small miracles like I said in the beginning It's like you're very grateful for the things that you have So it looks like spirit wants you to stay grounded and just listen and watch and take account of what you have here yeah, it's part of your healing process. It's going to help you change and release things. Someone is projecting heavy on you. They do not want you to uh, feel good about yourself. They want you to feel like heartbroken or they want you to um, act as if like this is the worst thing ever. I don't know what's going on here, but they want you to feel like it's the worst thing ever that you're going through. I really don't feel like you guys are paying any attention to what the projection is, but this is what they want. And it's annoying. And you know what they're up to. Alright guys. So this is your reading. I hope this resonated for you. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.